Carrie Chapman Cat Biography 1859-1947 Women's rights activist and suffragette Carrie Chapman Cat came up with the winning plan to pass the 19th Amendment in 1920. Who was Carrie Chapman Cat? Carrie Chapman Cat worked as a teacher to pay her own way through Iowa State College. She worked in the school system and for newspapers before joining suffrage movement in 1887. She took over the National American Woman Suffrage Association in 1900 and came up with the winning plan that helped pass the 19th Amendment in 1920. Early Life and Career Carrie Chapman Cat was born Carrie Lane on January 9, 1859, near Ripon, Wisconsin. Cat was a key figure in the passing of the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, granting women the right to vote. She also founded the League of Women Voters. When her father refused to pay for college, Cat worked as a teacher to raise the money to attend Iowa State College. She graduated with a bachelor's degree in 1880. The next year, she became a high school principal in Iowa. Moving quickly up the career ladder, she served as the superintendent of schools in Mason City, Iowa, only two years later. In 1885, Cat married Leo Chapman, a newspaper editor. She went to work with him on the Mason City Republican. Her husband died the next year, and Cat went to San Francisco to work for another newspaper. NASA Returning to Iowa in 1887, Cat began a new phase in her life. She became involved in Iowa Woman Suffrage Association. Cat emerged as a leader in the fight to win women the right to vote. In 1900, she began her first term as the president of the National American Woman Suffrage Association, NASA, taking over for legendary women's rights advocate Susan B. Anthony. She proved to be a worthy successor, increasing the size of the organization's membership and conducting some substantial fundraising. Married to George Catt in 1890, Carrie left her NASA post in 1904 because of her husband's health problems. He died the following year, and she returned to her social activism, becoming involved in the International Women's Suffrage Alliance. Fight for the 19th Amendment in 1915, the NASA was in trouble and turned Cat for help. Some of the members, led by Alice Paul, had left the group, and the organization appeared to be floundering. Cat assumed the presidency and got right to work getting it back on its feet again. She developed what would become known as the winning plan for its future. Cat told NASA members that they had to focus on solely on the issue of suffrage and the passage of a federal amendment. So sure that women would get the right to vote, she helped establish the League of Women Voters to encourage women to use their hard-won right in 1920 before the amendment was passed. But Cat had indeed come up with a winning plan, the 19th Amendment adopted was 1920. Lobbying tirelessly on behalf of the amendment, Cat was a critical factor in this federal victory for women. After this great success, she left the NASA and looked to help women around the world to gain the right to vote. Cat was also an active pacifist in the later part of her life. Death. Cat died in New Rochelle, New York, on March 9, 1947.